Hello everyone and welcome to today's more important analysis videos on Friday the 4th of November with me which is Market Analyst at Hantech Markets. It is non-farm payrolls uh, Friday and um, normally on non-farm payrolls Friday you see the market sort of fairly sort of subdued really, not really taking too much of a position but um, we've still got the um, the prospects of this election uh, on Tuesday, the presidential election really hanging over the markets. It really is the main driver of, of sentiment really and um, there's um, a safe haven flow that is still in place. You've still got all these equities that are falling away now let me show you the vix because this is a seen as the market's fear gauge and it's spiking higher it's the highest since brexit um and uh, clearly markets are taking that on board um FTSE 100 is down over a percent now dax just under a percent so the, the correction in equities continues um wall street the s p 500 is isn't been down now eight days in a row so it is a, a real concern, obviously, for equity investors. Now, it's interesting that we've seen the dollar, which is starting to sort of settle down a little bit uh, in its corrective move um, in the last sort of 24 hours or so. And that sort of could be a combination of non-farm payrolls, but also the fact that um, the, uh, the sort of Trump um, uh, momentum has just been sort of clipped slightly, arguably, um, according to a couple of the polls which have been sort of shown that um, Hillary Clinton is sort of stabilised a little bit. So it is um, interesting that we're seeing this. And also Treasury yields are just sort of beginning to settle as well, to sort of drop away into the 10-year Treasury and the 2-year, just settling slightly. Um, so uh, that is sort of helping to uh, stabilise the dollar. But uh, good non-farm payrolls be the difference today? Well, we have got this payroll support and it's out at 12.30 UK time. The uh, US clocks have not yet changed. Uh, let me just show you the um, data for today, sorry, before that. Um, you've had the services PMI data for the Eurozone. Generally across the board, it's been slightly um, sort of weaker than the expected, um, which was the final, uh, that that's the final data. The flash reading um, was better, so it's a mild sort of downgrade from the from the flash reading, so that's not all that positive, and um, the uh, Euros, euro has just dropped slightly on the back of that. But uh, generally speaking, we're looking out towards the non-farm payroll data this afternoon. We've got 175 on the headline, 4.9 on the unemployment, 0 0.3 on earnings and participation rate. Last time out, 62.9. So, so let me just show you these charts. Non-farm payrolls, 175 would be just above the, the six-month average. So again, that would be relatively sort of stable, as would be the uh, unemployment rate, 4.9. Um, unemployment going down and participation rate going up would be the ideal. Um, uh, let me show you participation rate. Participation rate has been sort of tracking higher in the last few months. 62.9 is the expect uh, was last month. And average hourly earnings, 0.3% expected. Um, but that would actually drag the um, the year-on-year -year data marginally lower, actually, to 2.5%. And that's due to the fact that um, the a strong October last year actually re um, that was a revised higher to uh, 0.4. So um, dropping out of that uh, means that you just marginally sort of drop lower to 2.4% on the uh, on the year-on-year -year data. So um, it's generally seemed to be uh, a little bit of a, a, a middle of the road report, really, and I think that's you're not going to get a massive amount of volatility because I think the market's going to be focusing far more on the election and how the polls are doing. Um, but uh, it could be a little, could be a little bit of chop, but not massive amounts, I think, today. So that takes me to my chart of the day, which is the Sterling Aussie. Now this has been an interesting chart because Sterling obviously had that uh, strong news yesterday out uh, the courts ruling on the uh, Article 50 triggering um, being made uh, illegal without um, a, a parliamentary vote. So subsequently Sterling strengthened and you've seen this sort of improvement in uh, Sterling Aussie. And that improvement is becoming as the um, Sterling has been settling in the last few days, uh, last sort of few weeks I should say. And look at the momentum indicators there, really are beginning to gather momentum on the upside. Now that sort of breakout has formed a little bit of a base pattern, you could argue. And um, that sort of uh, move suggests that um, perhaps you could see a move back towards 64.40, which I'll show you on the hourly chart. Um, 
sort of basing pattern. 64.40 would be um, a pretty decent recovery actually from where we are now. 64.40 and basically it's around about where that resistance is um, from a uh, few reaction highs following on from the uh, from the sharp flash crash. Um, so it looks as though that this one is now recovering. The momentum indicators on the early chart are more positively configured. Little corrections are being brought into and you've got a, a bit of a reaction though at uh, 6165 area, which I can get across here on it. There you go, 6165 was yesterday's sort of reaction low, uh, and that comes above the neckline support at 6115. So I'd be looking out for using any sort of unwinding move as a chance to buy. You've got the hourly RSI, which the last few days has been sort of using six, uh, 50 area for high 40s as a, a nice sort of basis of support to launch the next move higher so I think this one is in recovery mode and you look at the sort of recovery we got in August into September it uh, went consistently quite strongly so there is I think the potential for this month to move and 67.15 is the next real resistance really you could quite easily see it unwinding back towards there so I think this one is uh, one to maybe watch so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later thank you